hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right you guys check this out man i saw a video by uh freddie roach i guess it was uh conducted with uh fight hype and basically freddie roach was saying uh if manny chooses to fight one or two more times he said he would like to see these two particular fight possibly a floyd mayweather rematch or a fight with canelo alvarez well i think floyd is more likely than canelo alvarez based off the fact uh manny pacquiao said that he's never uh fighting above 150 again then it's looking more and more like canelo is struggling to make 155 now so what weight class would they fight at what kind of catch weight would be negotiated what uh double catch weight for both of them where canelo have to come in at a certain size and manny have to come in at a certain size i just don't see that fight happening uh it would be a very interesting fight you know for the people that want to see canelo fight triple g so bad you know it would be a very interesting fight you know you know of course the uh triple g fans wouldn't like it you know but hey money talks and bullshit walks now let's talk about the actual matchup now i've seen some of these delusional manny pacquiao fans saying some crazy shit like oh canelo would be easy work for manny pacquiao well i don't know about that i don't think so you know i think actually i think manny pacquiao would get the shit beat out of him i think he would get put to sleep again keep in mind timothy bradley hurt manny pacquiao in that last fight canelo hits way harder than tim bradley ever could hit and i could see manny pacquiao getting knocked out again i could see canelo cutting off the ring on manny pacquiao and teeing off on manny pacquiao Keep in mind, Amir Khan is a little bit faster than Manny Pacquiao, and that didn't help his ass whatsoever. Then you would have to wonder, would Manny Pacquiao have any pop at 150? And don't say, well, he busted uh, Margarito's eye socket. Well, we already know what was up with that. You know, we, we, know, what's, we know what was up with that. So you have to wonder... Would he be able to do that to uh, Canelo? Which I doubt because Canelo is not going to stand still and let Manny tee off on him like Margarito was. And when I hear people saying, oh, it would be just like the Margarito fight. Margarito ain't no motherfucking Canelo Alvarez. They totally two different fighters. Canelo has way more boxing skills than margarito would ever have margarito is a come forward one-dimensional ass fighter canelo does have some boxing skills i mean people sitting up saying that manny pacquiao would just blow through canelo i don't think so i don't see it that way i think manny pacquiao would get his ass splattered just like amir khan did so i don't see that fight happening and because one Manny Pacquiao would have a guy coming to him he wouldn't have to worry about like trying to get in a boxing match with a guy because Canelo would come straight to Manny Pacquiao and try to walk him down and try to cut off the ring like he was doing against Amir Khan that's why he had you know that's why he had success after the third round when he figured Amir Khan out Canelo is a a lot smarter than what he was a few years ago so you know it would be a very you know intriguing matchup but i don't see manny pacquiao winning that fight see here's the problem manny pacquiao fans seem to think that manny pacquiao is floyd mayweather floyd manny is two different people manny don't have a defense floyd has then Manny don't have the all-around boxing skills that, you know, Floyd has. You look at that fight, Floyd was hitting Canelo everywhere. He was hitting Canelo coming off the ropes. He was turning Canelo. 
Manny Pacquiao, for one, he don't like to fight on the inside. You know, Manny is a dude that don't like to fight off the ropes. If Canelo gets Manny Pacquiao up against the ropes in a fight, Manny Pacquiao is dead meat, straight up. Y'all got to understand that. Y'all, I, I know y'all say, well, Manny Pacquiao is fast. Yeah, well, you know, I keep telling you guys this. Speed is very overrated when it comes to comes to boxing. You can neutralize the guy's speed. That's been proven quite a few times. You know, what did Joe Frazier do in the first fight with Muhammad Ali? He neutralized Muhammad Ali's speed. He cut off the ring. He mauled him. He pushed him against the ropes and was teeing off on him. He made it a close quarters fight because Muhammad Ali didn't know how to fight. You know, he didn't know how to fight in the phone booth. Muhammad Ali used to like to have distance. And not to mention Muhammad Ali was a headhunter. That was one of the biggest problems Muhammad Ali had in his career. He was just strictly a headhunter. And for most of his career, it worked. So that's what I'm saying. Manny Pacquiao would struggle against Canelo Alvarez. Then not to mention Canelo Alvarez would be huge. So for you Manny Pacquiao fans, please stop getting Canelo Alvarez mixed up with Margarito. Because actually Canelo ain't nothing but a bigger version of Marquez. And he hits harder than Marquez. But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I'm out.